Hi everybody, this is Don King, the mushroom hunter, and I just found a couple of very interesting mushrooms here. I'm actually on the campus of Kent State University. Uh, this first one over here is called a Rusula. Um, Rusula mushrooms have a uh, have white stems, white gills. Uh, a lot of mushrooms also have that those qualities, so you have to be careful. Um, but they're very often very brightly colored on the cap, which can be orange to red to green or blue. There are, there are lots of different colors. Um, these sort of red-capped rusulas, though, there are dozens and dozens of species, uh, and it's almost impossible to narrow it to the particular species without looking at the spores under a microscope, which most of us don't have access to. However, with rusulas, um, one of the ways you can determine edibility is by doing what's called a spit taste. And it sounds kind of weird, but basically what you do is you just break off a small piece of the cap, uh, you chew it up, leave it on your tongue for a few seconds and spit it out. And basically what you're doing is you're trying to test uh, to see if there's a spiciness or a, or a real extreme bitterness. And basically if it just tastes like a mushroom and you don't have any flavor at all, it's edible. And again, it sounds kind of odd uh, that you can do this. It only works with Rusula and actually works with milky cat mushrooms as well. But um, it's not, a, a, you know, the taste test doesn't really work with all species of mushrooms. Just the really the ones that are particularly here, the genus Rusula. So I'm going to give this a little taste. Excuse my spit. Really no flavor at all, tastes kind of just like a regular old mushroom. So this would be an edible species of Rusula. There was an even better looking one that a freaking squirrel stole and is up in the tree eating it right now. So he obviously knows it's edible too. Back here, we have a uh, species of Amanita mushroom. Amanitas are, uh, there's a lot of different uh, you know species of Amanitas, some of the most uh, toxic and, and actually most deadly mushrooms in North America are amanitas, but there are also quite a few edible varieties as well. This one looks a little kind of deformed. This is actually called a, a blusher or an amanita amara rubescent. Uh, the cap has does have spots. Um, it's kind of a yellowish to sometimes brownish orange, but it's called a blusher because it stains uh, sort of pink, like a blush color. So you can, oh, you can see it falling apart here, but there's sort of this sort of pink staining on the, uh, on the stem. There are some smaller ones here too that haven't really grown yet, but I can see the pink staining and I don't know if you, can you get closer and see that? Um, I'm gonna see the pink staining at the bottom of the stem there. Uh, so this is an edible amanita and uh, just has to be cooked like some mushrooms including morels and others it actually has some toxins raw but cooking basically kills the toxins or gets rid of it so it makes it perfectly edible amanita is definitely not something for beginners that said if you ever want to learn more about these awesome mushrooms and most of these are going to be growing throughout the summer um, how to learn, how to identify mushrooms, how to find them, how to preserve and cook them, check out my event at the end of June, the 28th through the 30th. I'm doing a mushroom camp here in West Branch State Park in Ravenna. We're going to camp for two nights. There's uh, four meals are included, three mushroom hunts. We, we hunt mushrooms, we talk mushrooms, we camp, we eat. It's a really great time. Space is very limited, so check out the, uh, the event. I'll, I'll put it in the, the comments of this uh, video. So check that out if you're interested in learning more about mushrooms and spending the weekend with a bunch of mushroom enthusiasts. Anyway, uh, this is Don King, the Mushroom Hunter, and hey, happy hunting.